Hey, it's Mark Menendez here, pulling into my favorite boat ramp, and I bought some new chandeliers for the house. No, not for the house. Actually, Strike King's Tour Grade Titanium Umbrella Rig. That's right, the Titanium Umbrella Rig has some attributes about it that are a little bit different than the others. Let's see how it works out on the water. What I always do is load it up and sling it out there just like that and let it go to the bottom. You can see I'm fishing a gravel point here. In the gravel, there's not a lot to get hung up on, but there's an instant break line that falls off into deep water, and that's where I expect to get the bite, is right there along that break line. You can use different styles of baits on here. I've caught fish with uh, Rage Grubs, as well as the Shadowlicious from Strike King, the swim bait. But this little swimming tail uh, caffeine shed, little boot style bait, really produces a lot of action in cold water and the colder the water the softer that plastic needs to be and that caffeine sheds a perfect plastic line that uh, Strike King makes that has that perfect little shimmy to it and the fish can't stand it when you get it around them they get tangled up shake them out sling that bad boy out there the other thing I like to do is when it hits the water is pop it a couple times that gets everything on the on the umbrella wire, gets all the baits all spread out, and so they don't foul near as much when you make that long cast. Following it to the bottom, we're out there in 18, 20, there it is, it hit the bottom, and just a nice steady retrieve. Nothing special, just a nice steady retrieve when trying to trigger these fish out here on this deep water structure like this. The titanium umbrella rig from Strike King comes in two sizes. This is the long version and one with a little bit shorter arms on it to make that presentation for smaller baits and for big baits much easier. Nailed it right as soon as it got to the bottom. Man, that felt just like a big jig thump. As soon as it hit the bottom. Don't know what I got here, but it's pulling hard, I can tell you that. Big rod, heavy line. Look at that. Oh, big old fat large mouth. My goodness. Oh, big fat large mouth. Look at that big old fish. Wow. Wow. Stay pegged, baby. That titanium arm flexes a little bit so it doesn't give them near the leverage that they can get with just a stainless steel arm on it. All right, big dog. Look at that big old fish. Look at that big old fish. Oh, that big old fish. Man, man, man. Thumped it. Thumped it, thumped it, thumped it. See if I can get this fish up here. Oh, what a big old giant fish that is. Look at this. All right. Looky, looky what I found with my titanium umbrella rig. Man, man, man. What a nice bass. And you can get this umbrella rig at Tackle Warehouse. What a good one. Dingy water, cold water. I like a wide wobbling plug. One that crawls through cover just like that tree I just cast through. One that bounces off of rocks creating deflections and lots of racket for the bass to get attracted to. What do I turn to when I need that wide wobble? Strike King Series 4. As you can see with the Strike King Series 4, the bill angle is coming down out of the mouth of that crankbait. Anytime a bill comes out of the body of the crankbait at a downward angle, it creates a wide wobble. If it comes straight out of the chin, it creates a very tight wobble. The Series 4 is one that has the wide wobble. Great for throwing around grass beds, rocks, trees, any kind of cover because of its deflection qualities and ability to bounce through that cover. This big profile with that wide wobble creates a lot of disturbance down there. I'm throwing it on 15 pound 
Seaguar and Vizex to get it through the cover around the rocks today on a seven foot Luz tournament SL speed stick with a team Luz reel. This combination allows me to get it in and around, through the cover, around the cover. And this big Series 4, as you can see my rod tip, it's just thump, 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 thump. That's what I want in this dingier water, that good thumping quality of the bait. Comes in many different colors. Red's one of my favorite colors in early spring just because it mimics crayfish. Something about a hot red bait. This is a, a hot mustard colored bait. And red mimics that crayfish and fish really react well to it in colder water. But again, bouncing it through that big tree, around the rocks, on the bottom. This bait's a good six to, six to 10 foot diving bait depending upon line size. And that wide action to it, it kicks out around things and kicks that grass away. This is one I throw in Hydrilla an awful lot. Gunnersville, Sam Rayburn, places like that. Fiddle fishing up in those drains and get it to wind right through that grass edges. Man, you can catch some awfully good fish with it. <clears throat> there he is. Right at the end of the cast. Oop, coming up, coming up. Look at him out there, way out there. Oh, cold water fish don't fight hard, but they just have a steady pull to them. Coming up, coming up, way out there on the end of that cast. What do we got? Come on, big dog. Where are you going? Oh, there he is. There he is. He's wearing that Series 4 just right. Just right. Got him right on the end of the nose. Look at him. Look at him. He's so cold he can't hardly get out of the water. Here he comes. See how cold it is. He just doesn't even want to pull. Doesn't even want to pull. What a nice fish. He smoked that Series 4. Come here, big boy. Come here. Come here. Come here. Don't get a hook in me. Come here. I'm going to have to get you like this. Gotcha. Man, look at that. He got all of that crankbait. That's the way you like it. That big fish came down on the crankbait when he was rooting and banging on those rocks. It came down on it and hit it from the top. You can see that's a good one. Cold fish. Series 4 is one of my favorites for that very reason. That big profile and all that noise. Just like that. Boy, did he get that bait good. Man. Strike King Series 4. Get it on the bottom and let it do the dirty work for you. And see what it can catch for you. And you can find it at Tackle Warehouse.